Okay, uh, back on the, this disc, Dwight D. Uh, it was pretty dirty, so I had to clean it. This is the one that had that uh, that power supply. You can see the double-sided thing. They had um, some kind of power supply in it. One of them computer power supplies in a box. And uh, anyway, <clears throat> I took it out, put the original things back in. Um, I hope that's not too tight. Okay, so one secondary goes into the one side, the other side of the secondary goes into the switch, and then back to the board. Okay, that's what turns the radio on and off here. Okay, now this here is the uh, electric line going to the clock motor. Goes directly to the power. Okay, is it plugged in? Okay, it's plugged in. It's plugged in, isn't it? No. Okay. Okay, let's plug it in. See what happens. Okay, it takes a... I got a oil motor, I think. But the uh, clock motor works. Um, okay. Now, here we go. We're going to see if the actual radio will come on. Because it's got 14 point something volts. Come on, get on there. Alright, here we go. And there it is. Um, squelch. RF, Tone, uh, SWR Cal, and Delta Tune. Okay, it is receiving. Oh, <laughs> got to put a mic in. All right, let's try this microphone here. We'll try this microphone here. Okay, here we go. Okay, hold on. Um, okay, let's try this. I know it's a Cobra 4 pin. Alright. Okay, here we go. Let's try this. Yeah, it's a 4 pin. Okay. Hold on. Let me, let me retry this one. I think I had it plugged in wrong. Alright. Okay, let me just go ahead and put this new Echo mic on here with the dimple up. Uh, uh, okay, there's the mic ringing. Mic phone with mic ringing. Uh, 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 uh. Well, well, it works. Well, audio, audio. That sound that that light right there sort of stays on.
Okay. Audio. Audio. Okay. Well. All right. The radio is working. Audio. Audio. Normal power. Modulation meter isn't slamming. Okay. Uh, we got some slight backwards on the meter here. Audio. Okay, so that's the new power supply. That clock didn't want to come on. I gotta spray all the knobs. Hear that? That's all the way down. But anyway, maybe that's just an old, old radio. Okay, so everything's connected back. Heat sink is a little tiny bit warm, but not baking hot. Um, that's 14 point uh, something volts. I might have to turn it down with that VR right there. But right now it's uh, it's working. Uh, there ain't no lights on the meter, so, well, they're very dim. Okay, anyway, uh, yeah, they're on. Yeah, they're working. Audio. Audio. One, two. One, two, three. One, two. Okay, let's see if it's on frequency. Oh, hell, it's right on frequency. One, six, five, zero. Huh, the testament of the old Uniden Cobra style radio. Uh, Dwight D. Eisenhower, there's a face. I need to put that back on. Clock is working. Uh, needs a alignment. Needs all the caps. All them crappy caps in there need to be replaced. Okay, so that's a Dwight D. Eisenhower right here with the 858 chip. The original Dwight D. Eisenhower. Big bag. Yeah, all, all these knobs need to be sprayed. Let's see. Brian Squelch. Mike Gain, all the way up. RF Gain. Works. Uh, tone. Yeah, this, they're all dirty. Let's get beyond Delta Tune. Okay, so that's it. And this works too, I guess. Let's see. Let's try something here. Let's see. Alarm. Auto. Turn. The, oh, there it is. I guess it does work. Okay. Hmm. All right. Hmm. Let's see. Let's try the alarm feature and see if that works. Come on. Well, it's just, uh, usually this thing right here buzzes. Well, it is kind of. Hmm. Probably needs to just be adjusted.
Okay, that's it for this uh, fix. Now to put everything back, or change the caps now. Okay, next thing online for this is changing the caps. Okay, boat anchor, CB radio repair, Dwight D. Eisenhower, brake brake.